Hey guys, what is up? Beckbro Jack here, bringing you another Bolt tutorial. So as promised, I am doing uh, the fusion reactor. Last episode, I did the fission reactor. If you haven't checked that out, be sure to check it out. But anyway, yeah, we'll be getting into the fusion reactor today. This is not the uh, the best build for the fusion reactor. I know that, um, but it is, um, my opinion, one of the simpler builds of the fusion reactor. Um, next episode, I uh, probably will be showcasing. Um, a really good self-sustaining fusion reactor that uh, was made by somebody on the Volts um, forums that I found. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna be uh, getting into how to build this, just like kind of like uh, I did for the fission reactor. Showed a little example, and then we'll build it ourselves. So I'm just gonna go over this right here. This is a fusion reactor in the middle. Right here we have our um, we have our reactor turbines, and then we have our uh, control rod thingy where we can turn it off if we want to turn off and that'll power it down and then we can always just turn it back on so first thing you need is some sort of uh, building block I prefer smooth sandstone you can use whatever the heck you like just make some area okay so the first thing you're gonna do is build up three blocks high and put down your fusion reactor fusion reactor is elite circuits steel plates and a fission reactor which we made last episode we're gonna plop that down there. You can destroy these blocks. Make sure it's daytime. Don't want any mobs blowing this up. So, um, first set of things that you're going to need. Uh, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Are electromagnets and electromagnet glass. Electromagnets, bronze, and a motor in the center. Electromagnet glass is just an electromagnet with some glass. Not too difficult so far. So you're just gonna surround your fusion reactor with some electromagnet. Try and do this as fast as possible. I'm not too good at placing blocks. And then you're gonna go out one whole block. You're gonna leave one block space in between. And we'll just uh, fill that in around. And the next thing we're gonna do is um, put in our electromagnetic glass. So now that we're done this, come on. Okay, so now we're going to place our glass. So we need it over top can't use any old regular glass, this has to be electromagnetic to uh, hold all the bad nuclear things inside that um, is going to be bursting out if you had regular glass. So anyway, we're going to go underneath, same exact uh, design, so it's basically symmetrical so far, not a lot of materials yet, I mean, I hope it's not, this is um, a little bit of an upgrade from the fission reactor, stupid grass. Okay, so now that we have all this, we need our smooth sandstone or whatever block you're using so then you're gonna build out two blocks from the electromagnets and this is where we're gonna put our pistons to put on the um, control lever so I'm just gonna fast forward right um, to where I'm done building all this yeah I actually had to take out this tree to uh, make more room next thing we are going to need are some pistons here we go got our pistons place them not on the outside block just on the inside blocks just like this boom 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 uh, let's see how many is it one two three four five so you're gonna need 20 pistons then you're gonna get back out your building block and then you're gonna fill in the corners go oh, whoops go over top of the electromagnet just like that go um, all corners just like that so the water doesn't fall out and then next we're gonna make it too high just uh, to contain the water. So then we're gonna place it over top of the pistons, have it going all the way around, and this is where we're gonna hook up our redstone circuitry. Circuitry, or no, circuitry, there we go. Ugh, terrible placing blocks. Okay, so we're gonna finish this up. Oh, tears. oh dear God. Okay, now we're gonna implement our reactor turbines in. Our reactor turbines, bronze plates, and motors, if you did not see from the last episode. So we're not gonna place them on the outside, just uh, across the inside. Four, five, so you're gonna need 20 of these also. Same as the pistons. This is what makes the power, if you do not know. This um, makes power from the heat, from the, um, like, from the nuclear water that's heating up the, w the regular water, I think. That's how it goes anyway. 
So, uh, next thing we're gonna do is put in our water. You're gonna need water. Lots and lots and lots of water buckets. You're gonna need 20 water buckets. If, uh, you wanna plan that out ahead. We're just gonna put that down all along the sides. And then perfect. And now we're gonna hook up our, um, our redstone. So we'll get rid of this piston, this. You're going to need redstone, a lever, and I think two repeaters. So I know redstone's pretty dang abundant. So we'll just plop down our lever uh, right down here. And then we'll just start placing redstone all around. And then we'll apply our repeaters where necessary, where it runs out. I forget how many blocks it is, maybe like 15 or eight or something like that. Some, some one or two digit number. So at the end, you're not going to connect it. Just gonna leave it like that and then we're gonna turn that on to see where it actually ends i believe it's um can't tell uh we'll just put it right here to be safe i guess and uh mm -hmm. right there and i think that's pretty much good so if i turn that off everything will go off everything will go on this is the control switch and then what I normally do is I just build like a little platform for myself just in case I want to get on just so I can control it and not have to like parkour jump fly up there I mean if I even know how to do that that's great so we turn it on turn it off perfect now we are going to hook up our uh, whatever wire I usually use insulated silver wire but you use what you want so we're just gonna surround it, make sure to connect it all up. Doom, 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 doom. Okay, dokey. We don't wanna lose any power. And then we're gonna take that from there any way you want. Then we're gonna take it to some bat boxes where power's gonna be made. Drag it down. If you don't know how to make a bat box, check out some of my other videos. Bat boxes are um, pretty common. You're gonna need to know how to build that. If you don't know how to build that yet and you're playing Volts, I mean, don't just stop playing, you gotta learn them. I'm not gonna discourage people playing Volts, but you gotta learn. So I put down three bat boxes as usual, just to collect the most amount of electricity from it. So just destroy that unnecessary. And then, um, let's see, we got most of it hooked up. Next thing we are going to need is some deuterium. That's actually how you run this thing. So I'm going to steal some power over here I'll steal it from this bat box so you are going to need a uh, deuterium extractor uh, where'd it go deuterium extractor this is bronze on the outside two centrifuges an elite circuit and two steel plates so you plop that down like uh, so no no does it, does it work like that hello uh, like that I believe with the little black like square thingy and then you're going to put in a bucket of water and then that will eventually go um, and create you some deuterium. I actually think you need um, an empty, can't spell empty, I think you need an uh, empty cell. But actually put it in and then it will start making deuterium rods and then once you have a pretty abundant amount of them you're going to plop them down inside the machine. I think it can hold up to 64 at a time. So we put them down inside the machine. But if you go up to the top, it's not working. Well, that is because you need to give it a little kickstart. So we'll steal some power from this and we will give it a kickstart. So you just hook it up right to the bottom of your machine. That's why we made it three blocks high. So it's easy to get under. And we just gotta hook it up. You can do it any way you want and then boom it will start working and as soon as you get to start working you can um, take it off of the connection if you want and then you're gonna need to take um, one of these outputs to keep on supplying it with uh, its constant electricity so it doesn't uh, just stop working because uh, you want it to work because uh, it will be still self-sustaining and it's not really too hard to get the deuterium you just need water basically and empty cells I put that like that and then it should um, start making me electricity yep it's already filling up pretty fast this one won't really fill up that much I don't even think it'll fill up at all but these two will fill up and then you can take electricity from it as needed so yeah that's really it um, as I said next episode I will be uh, showing a better um, version of the fusion reactor 
I think anyway. I'm, I'm gonna try to see how it works, and I'm gonna try and show a short tutorial on that. But anyway, short tutorial on the fusion reactor. Make sure to um, like this video and subscribe if you have not. And uh, go check out my other Volt tutorials. It really helps me a lot. And uh, that's really it. And uh, yeah, my name is Beckford Jack, and I will see you all next time.